In this house, an air source heat pump is backed up by an electric furnace. The piece of equipment that's in the E squared house, approximately when you take that numbers and put it into things that make sense, is about 260% efficient. And if we go back to the dollar for dollar comparison, every dollar that's being spent on electricity in the E squared house, there's $2.60 worth of energy coming out of the registers. Instead of making heat, it transfers heat from the air and moves it indoors during the winter. In the summer, that process is reversed. The backup system is necessary for an air source heat pump when the temperatures get too cold. An even more efficient option is a geothermal system. Instead of using the outside air, it uses the natural heat of the earth. When a house is constructed as tightly as this one was, mechanical ventilation is very important. Uh, air exchangers uh, are a fantastic way to maintain indoor air quality and also deal with the moisture that's asso associated and contaminants that are associated. What happens inside an air exchanger is that there's a heat exchanger that as we take stale or contaminated air that's in the house and try to exhaust it outside, it passes through a device called a heat exchanger that has fresh air coming from the outside. Those two airs essentially mix there and we can reclaim some of the energy that we put into the air in the winter time or the energy that we've taken out of the air in the summertime so that we can maintain even an efficiency in exhausting our stale air. Air exchangers, some range anywhere from 60% efficient to 80% efficient in those processes. So we've even come up with a way to, for getting rid of this stale air that's in our home, disposing it, bringing fresh air in, and doing that very efficiently. Radiant reflective coating is used in the attic on the underside of the roof. It reduces the radiant heat transfer between the roof and the attic. It keeps structures warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Tight ductwork is extremely important to the efficiency of the entire heating and cooling system. The ductwork in this house was taped at the seams to reduce leaks.